good morning everybody it is currently like 7 20 in the morning um today's wedding day i am so freaking excited so the people who are getting married today are brandon and jamie um also i'm in my laundry room right now because everybody in the house is sleeping so i'm trying to be quiet um jamie and brandon are getting married today and i'm so very excited even though it's kind of a ride and i figured out what i was gonna wear today so I might even wear two different outfits depending on what the weather's like and how comfortable I am. But I'm going to bring my dress, I'm going to wear that to the wedding, and then I'm going to wear um, like leggings and a cute booties and a flannel for the reception, I think, if I decide to change. We'll see. So, anywho, um, yeah, I cannot wait for this wedding. Honestly, like, Brandon was my very first friend on earth, not even joking. Um, our grandparents were best friends and neighbors and then our parents our dads were best friends and neighbors growing up and then um, I would go to my grandparents house every single weekend and he still lived across the street from them so his dad ended up taking over the family farm still living right across the street from my grandparents so up until like oh gosh I don't know maybe like eight years ago I think my grandma moved down to the cities here so she used to live right next to them, um, but we're still really close to the family. They're pretty much like our family, and we're like their family, I guess. Um, yeah, so I get to watch my very first childhood friend get married today, and I'm so excited. I really need to wash my face because I fell asleep with my makeup on, so that's real cute. And I have to do some laundry because Memphis's clothes are in the washing machine. So I'm going to get that done and I'm going to start getting ready. And I will update you guys when I wake Memphis up. Hey guys, so we are all prepared and ready to go to the wedding. We're in the car, we're on the highway, and we are cruising. So we will be there shortly. Got my grandma right here and Memphis is in the back seat. Say hi grandma. Hi. <laughs> so, um, we are stopping at a memorial service for one of my grandma's friends, and then we are heading to the wedding. I went with contacts today, so, but I did bring my glasses, because if you watched my other vlogs, you know how much I hate wearing my contacts, because I can't see anything out of them. So, um, yeah, we are on our way, and we, are, we will update you when we get there. We made it to the um, funeral ceremony or celebration of life for my grandma's friend. Um, it's like literally downpouring and Memphis was sleeping in the back, but he's awake now. So I think we're going to try to go in, but my grandma has the only umbrella. So this will be interesting because I can't run. I'm in heels and we're in a dirt parking lot. So yeah, we will see how this goes, but we're going to head in now. How long has it been since you've been on this road, Grandma? Since I retired, um, 10 years ago. Wow. Oh, a long time. It's kind of fitting to uh, drive down your work road. There's a deer. I think I'm watching the road. It's kind of ironic to be driving down your work road um, right after her visitation, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Considering you guys used to work together. Yeah, she was a good, good friend. She will be greatly missed. Yeah, her sister too. I worked for many years with her sister. Gina's the same age as me. Janet was two years younger than us. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a shame she had cancer, right? Yes, yeah. Um, I'm gonna show you how I could draw. Okay. Um, I don't like draw ones. 
forever nourish you and keep you strong. I wish you the strength to be true to the vows that you have made here today. May you always have the wisdom to cherish the precious love that you share. May you abide by the laws of the Spirit, nurturing yourselves and each other with and Jamie Lapis. and then realized that the new owner of grandma's house, old house, was in the wedding. So that means that his house is vacant right now. So we're gonna go break in. We are. Well, <laughs> we're not actually gonna break into his house, but we are gonna trespass and I'm gonna show you guys the house that I like grew up in. But my dad and my uncle grew up in this house and um, I'm so excited. I absolutely love this house and I'm, I'm still devastated that my grandma moved. I am. So this is the house okay. and the garage where my grandfather used to work on all of his stuff. And this barn, oh my yeah. goodness, this barn, I fell through. So up bad. there, there was a, um, a hayloft up there, and I fell through with Brandon, actually, the guy who just got married. Um, we were throwing hay bales down onto a trailer, and yeah, fell right through. Did you fall in the trailer? Nope, I fell through the floor. That's the weeping willow tree where my dog Jinxie is buried. This is so surreal. Like, come here, Memphis. So we're gonna walk around the side of the house and um, I'll just kind of show you guys around a little bit. So this right here is the cellar to the basement. And that is like the door to the kitchen right there. And look, they have a little puppy. He's so cute. This right here used to be where the um, the place that was right here. And then in this cornfield back here, yeah. I don't know why we only stuck to this cornfield really, but we used to um, run around in there and Brandon and I would play tag and chase each other. Oh. I have so many pictures of us next to this apple tree. Where's the apple tree? This right here, honey, this is an apple tree. Doesn't look like it's doing too hot though. Well, there's a few apples way up there. There's two apples right there. Oh, 
but they're not fully ready. Yep. So this is what the backyard looks like. Ooh. We never ever used to use that door, but so basically right here is the bathroom. There's a hallway right there. Okay. And then upstairs there is where my dad and my uncle used to sleep. Oh. Um, that is the master bedroom right there. I'm going to show you guys where my grandpa used to flay the fish over here in the barn. Um, I don't think we can go into the barn, but we'll see. So this door is where my grandpa used to um, clean his fish. Oh. We're going to see if this is open. Okay, let's go around to the other side. We'll get there and... There's one more way that we can get into this barn. I know. And I really, really, really want to see it's the inside. It's not very tall like it used to be, isn't it? Like, look at how amazing this barn is. That is where this truck is. So this, of course, is where we would store things. Okay. So, like, they've got a truck and a boat here. Man, and they've got that up so we can't get into that side of the barn. But I can still probably show you what it looked like or what it looks like. Okay, so this is what Grandpa's barn looked like. Okay. And it still has all of the old bird's nests everywhere. So, oh my goodness, they've got little piggies in here. No wonder why the door's locked. Hi, piggies. Hi, piggies. Um, so right there, that's the ladder to go up into the hayloft. And I fell through this ceiling here somewhere. I don't know exactly where it was that I fell through, but it was one of the scariest experiences of my life. And Brandon saved my life, so... Thank you, Brandon. This is a little overview of Grandma's old field. Oh. Well, there's some horses. No, Look at Miss Betsy right there, just blending right into the hay. Yeah. He's also a cow. Hey, Betsy. Yeah. He's hey. A, he's a cow. <laughs> Did you know that it's a cow? <laughs> yes, honey, I know that it's a cow. I thought it was a horse on first. Now it's a now we thought it was a cow. Okay. So I wanna get some really cute like Pictures. um shots of the barn. I'm just oh I'm so in love with this place. This field slash woods area here always reminded me of like a magical kingdom like there should have been like little fairies dancing around in there I really hope it's as pretty on camera as it is in person because it still feels so magical like oh my goodness zombies eat this right here stuff do they yeah my goodness you were so smart yeah zombies too there's actually somewhere else right now who your dad? Yeah, my daddy lives in heaven. So no, he's not here. So nobody But he grew up here. Huh? I said, but he grew up here.
kind of surreal to watch him just playing around in the place that I grew up in. I can go around stuff! Yeah. More. How does it feel to be back here, Grandma? It feels it feels good. Lots of memories here. A lot of bad memories, but the good ones outweigh the bad. So, I just and looking at that that tree ones. there. It's a it's a walnut tree that Grandpa and I planted. And look at how big it is already. This and one there, right here. Yeah, the one with the palm leaf there. And they, there was another one over here, but that one died, and that one, I don't know if we'll ever get walnuts because it's, there's not two for mating. Hmm. Should we check the tree? Maybe there's someone with walnuts on it. No, go check. I, my hips, I just had to take some pills. Hips are hurting. Hmm, poor Grandma. So Grandma says that Grandpa and her planted this here walnut tree. So I don't know if anyone is familiar with walnut trees but they probably don't produce very well in our type of climate here in Minnesota. So, <clears throat> I don't know, those kind of look like they might be little buds. Like they could be. And there's quite a bit. So, it is very possible that um, this tree could produce walnuts eventually. That's interesting. Grandma's um, rhubarb plant is still over here somewhere. <clears throat> I feel so weird because I've got leggings on with this dress. But, oh, there it is. I don't know if this was here, but I feel like this was here when I was a kid. So Grandpa probably did that too. I'm pretty sure these are grapes. And there's Grandma's rhubarb. So I just want to show you real quick. This is kind of like a little road here. And it goes back that way. And then also goes down the field. Um, not, not right here, but, but you can go down here. And it used to like wrap around this way, so I don't know if it still does. Um, and it looks like the road down the middle Gee, I thought it would have been right here, but it doesn't look like, like there's a road anymore. Not unless they moved it like way down there. <clears throat> okay, I've changed. Just literally skipped, stripped down into my skivvies in Adam's driveway. Oh well. It was my grandma's driveway first, if that makes a difference. There you go, right? that's right. All right, so I'm gonna show you um, what it looks like when we exit the road and the house at the very end um it i don't know if it's still there or not but it was a little white house that was johanna and Nana's house because i used to have a stuttering problem house is gone, I think. darn it looks like they tore it down did you just say the potholes are in the same exact places yeah. <laughs> that's what they haven't graded the driveway since you moved out oh they oh. always had potholes okay so real quick this is what the side fields look like at Grandma's old place. Oops. So my grandpa used to have a um, uh, hunting deer stand. A deer stand right over there. Mm -hmm. And I remember um, coloring. Like bringing up a coloring book and crayons and coloring up there. No idea why he let me go up there because I don't think I was a very quiet child. But okay, so you was your continuing your grandpa apple of his eye. Mm -hmm. he finally got his girl. <laughs> yeah, I miss grandpa. Yeah, me too.
right over yonder here, um, there used to be a little white house, and that was where Johannan and his house was. And then down this way, whoops, roll the window down so you can see through the doggies. And that used to be Walter's house down here. Mm -hmm. yep. And I used to call him Water because I could not pronounce Walter. So we are at the reception. This is the building that the reception is in. And the kids are out here playing on this cute little playground that there is. My hair has like completely gone flat from all the rain. So it's kind of a bummer, but here's all the kids playing. Good job, buddy! I totally knew he was gonna make it. Yeah, that was awesome. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching. Yeah, you did really good, bud. Careful! Oh, that was much more smoother though. Yeah. Yeah, wow, good job, buddy. You did it, Memphis. I did it! I'm so proud of you. I know, I did it all the way across that. So we are take a picture. But we are at the reception and we found our table. We should have sat earlier because we're like way in the back. But this place is so cute. It's a little community center in um, Sobieski. Tiny little town. So little one here is hiding. We have a table all to ourselves so that's kind of cool. And Grammy's here. So there are a lot of people here and it's really loud. So I don't know how much vlogging I'm going to do in here. But I will give you a quick little um, peek as to what's going on and how many people are actually here. So let's do that. That was loud.
your dilemma? This is a store, not a barn. A store? This isn't a store. This is like a party center, a community center. Ah, ah, I'm sweating. I want to go to the park, though. Okay, have fun. Hello. So he's over here freaking out because we are at a wedding reception and there's cows over here. So, these are the cows. I think this is hilarious because I grew up like near the country area where there's cows and chickens and all that kind of stuff everywhere and it's just like so bizarre for him to see cows. I just think that is hilarious. Okay, I'll help you, but good try, bud. Let's both do it, though. Okay. Let's both. So we're in this rinky-dinky little town, and look how freaking cute this basket is in the bathroom. They have all sorts of different, like, oh, that's a Victoria's Secret spray. And uh, um, another, oh, love spell, that's my favorite. But look, they've got, like, all these, like, Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret sprays and lotions. That is so cute. Only rebel shot, the battling 
there is a life flight right there, about to land on the highway. And there's a ton of lights. Traffic is at a complete stop. We are going to turn around and find a different way home. But this is nuts. Oh my goodness. That's that's literally a helicopter. Okay, yeah, it just cut me off. No big deal. Oh, there's cops way on the other side over there. Wow. I hope everybody's okay.